Hello, my dear J.E. Walters. One of the most frequently asked questions by many J.E. students is, if I do NCRT thoroughly, and if I solve a lot of VYQ, especially the last couple of years, because there are so many attempts and shifts, will it be enough for me to get a safe score in J.E.? Let me answer this very important, crucial question. And let me tell you, the answer is not what you think it is. Some of you might have already started your journey by preparing for uh, from NCRT, maybe because in your school they are teaching very well, or maybe you are forced to you know, prepare for the tests, unit tests, whatever. And because of which you feel that maybe if I just go along with the school syllabus and uh, revise the 11th NCRT, and maybe just give a couple of mock tests in the end, will it be enough for me to score really well? Let me start with NCRT first. Well, talking about NCRT, the answer is definitely a no, but there is a catch. It's like those mathematical conditions where it is needed, but it is not sufficient. Correct? Like when you eat maybe only one chapati, that is not, that is not going to suffice you or it is not going to kill your hunger. It is just going to help a little bit. That's all. Let me tell you the subject wise priority list and also let me answer why and how much and will PYQs help you or not. But before that, Make sure you are smashing the like button because that way YouTube understands you are preparing for J. It will keep you away from distractions and it will show you more J related content. Second thing, you don't want to miss other classes which we conduct on the channel. So subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel, which is the number one J English channel in the country. Thank you so much guys for liking and for subscribing. Starting off with physics first, the role of NCRT is barely 30%. It helps you in building the basic foundations, the basic definitions, the tables, etc. It also uh, has a lot of uh, importance in statement based questions, especially like assertion reason or sometimes in match the following direct theory questions and helps you build basic concepts, not very advanced concepts or the difficult ones, the standard definitions and the fact based theory, you can understand it also helps in experimental uh, related physics. Like you can also remember that even in electromagnetic waves, there is a table given with all the waves, their applications, their, you know, their wavelengths and their frequencies. So a couple of times, JE mains has been asking questions from that. So you can see a lot of fact based and basic stuff is being, uh, you know, asked directly from NCRT. And the role is very limited, but it is necessary because if you just get 70 marks or 60 marks in physics, that is also of no use. So you will have to use the NCRT physics, you cannot say I will not study anything. Next thing, talking about chemistry, this is where the major role of NCRT is, especially in inorganic chemistry. The best book is NCRT. Remember that. You might buy a lot of other books, might help you probably for Olympiads and J advanced, but for J mains and other common entrance examination tests, your NCRT is the book that you should go forward. All the reactions are directly from NCRT. So all the things, just please, please try and remember it. Talking about organic, the relevance is not so much, but you will find few things here and there. And there are a couple of things like some mechanisms, some reagents, you might have to push yourself beyond a little bit of NCRT. Okay, so it definitely lays a good foundation, but please try to push yourself by reading some more stuff either through your lecture notes or maybe your coaching module or any other reference material that you are using. The same also applies for physical chemistry. Yes, all the formulas, the graphs, all the charts and all the reactions, whatever basic things are there will be helpful. But you need to push yourself by using some or the other additional resources. But whatever is there in NCRT, don't skip that. Anything which is there in NCRT can be asked. Just because it is not there in your teacher notes or a coaching module or whatever reference book you are using does not mean it can't be asked. So that's the thing with chemistry plays a major role up to 60%, not more than that. The most limited usage is in mathematics. Yes, the formulas, the examples in NCRT, very useful. But the level of J means mathematics questions are way beyond NCRT guys. And you will see there are a lot of times the questions which were asked in J means were on the borderline or maybe felt like it is out of syllabus. You had to do a lot of tricky things or manipulations to get to the answer. So NCRT will help you, but not that much. 
do it for sure solve all the back exercise and index questions will lay the at least the basics the foundation level but you need to push way beyond by solving lots and lots of problems especially in mathematics okay now if you look at the overall picture of ncrt it is decently limited okay it is uh, necessary but not sufficient helps you build basic concepts helps you prepare for boards and you know get that 75 percent eligibility criteria crossed for your j and not much much beyond that so one thing is clear ncrt alone won't help you get your selection especially not in nits or any other top engineering colleges so you might wonder will pyqs help me now there is a very interesting thing about pyqs and I hope you have, by the way, smash the like button in case you have forgotten, do that. See, every year there were almost two sessions for the last couple of years. Each session, each attempt had, let's say January and April had 10 to 12 shifts. Each shift had 30 questions. That gives us around 600 questions approximately every year for every subject. So if you look at it for five years, close enough to 3000 questions just last five years. Imagine that. And if you multiply it by three for all the subjects, close to 9,000 questions, which is not a small number. Now, when you have so many questions, one might easily think, why do I need to even do anything more? Let me just solve those five year papers. That's the worst mistake which any student can do. See, even if you have a good 3,000 questions per subject in the last five years, understand a lot of times these questions are just repeated from your previous shift. In fact, you will see in every attempt, if there are 10 to 12 shifts, a similar kind of question just gets repeated in every shift. Let's say a question on, you know, optics comes where you have to find where the image is for this magnification. Then maybe they give you magnification. They ask you where the image is. Next thing they will give you magnification and the image where the object is. Same type you will see in almost all the shifts. So if you see at the variety of questions, you will see it drastically reduces. So one might think I have solved sir 3000 questions, but actually you might have just solved barely four to 500 questions. If you look at the variety or the models of questions. One more thing you will see is that if a particular type of question or if a particular topic is chosen in a particular year, it's not necessary it is chosen next year. And you will see next year the topics or subtopics. If you go at the subtopic level, it's a little bit different. And every year it keeps on changing. So there is no guarantee that the year that you will be giving the question paper, the same subtopic will be chosen, number one. Number two, same pattern might get repeated, no. You might have different models, slightly they might choose a different subtopic. So you need to explore other areas too. So my suggestion is don't just solve the last few years, go beyond those five years, maybe pick a 1990 paper, maybe 1980s paper or 2005 paper or 2011 paper because you will find a lot of good questions. And those papers are very limited in number because those times you just had only one attempt for your screening or J index. So go beyond, explore different areas, explore different patterns because those, you know, those uh, few questions which will uh, have a contribution or weightage of 15 to 20% will decide whether you get your selection into NITs or top 99 percentile. So that is where it helps. But if your aim is 97, 98 percentile, yes, you are, or even 96 percentile, then solving the last five year papers helps you till a good amount of extent. It helps you get to know about the pattern. It helps you understand what is the difficulty asked. It helps you understand which topics are usually asked. So you don't waste too much time on a particular topic thinking it is important, but it is hardly asked, right? You also learn how to manage time. So whenever you solve PYQs, you need to time it. That's what I would say, at least at the later stage, maybe not at the initial stage. It also helps you understand what mistakes you usually might make because some of the, or rather majority of the questions in PYQs, there will be some catch or, you know, there will be options in such a way that if you make a mistake, you will mark the wrong answer. So you can understand what kind of errors you are making and you feel confident that, okay, if I'm able to solve 2022, 2023, 2024 paper, yes, I might be able to solve 25 and 26 as well. So that confidence boost you get and there is a good chance that some amount of questions do get repeated, but it's not many. That's why I put it in different color. 
very few questions get repeated but it does happen but you cannot rely on it you can't expect same model same type questions will come at least 40 percent definitely not that is not the case okay so talking about whether ncrt and pyqs together as a combo how much will it help you max to max guys 98 percentile not beyond that understand because if it were so easy then you know so many students would just sit in day in day out just practice all the pyqs last five years and would do complete ncrt because anyways it's done in boards and would easily get 98 percentile but when you do pyqs don't limit yourself to current pyqs go way beyond that that will take you beyond 98 percentile if you solve some questions of some other books and obviously preparing for advanced that helps you go beyond 99 99.5 percentile but yeah if your aim is only 98 then this is the solution for it i hope you got your answer with this particular video now most important thing is that you should understand rather than categorizing a certain type of problem as ncrt new year previous year this that what is important is practicing many models of question that's very important number two even if you are repeating the same question multiple times just because you did not get it previously that is perfectly fine don't think every time i have to look for a new problem only even if you pick out a problem which is two months old that's perfectly okay because by now you would have forgotten how you did it back then so that's perfectly fine repeat questions practice a lot of questions rather than categorizing them and very important guys please don't keep new backlogs please don't you know ignore ncrt please don't you know take your board exams lightly a lot of times people you know uh, probably just keep on preparing for j and you ignore your board exams and sometimes have seen cases where students get very good percentiles in j but just get 70 or 65 percentage in boards don't do that plus overall you should maintain some amount of board percentage because if you are planning for higher studies or for getting scholarships it definitely helps you you know validate uh, that okay you deserve that particular scholarship especially for higher studies or even for you know later on scholarships for whatever reasons you are planning to do so so don't ignore ncrt and i would suggest try to prioritize your current chapters in the coaching or in your school especially the 12th standard but side by side cover your 11th standard syllabus don't wait till the end don't make new backlogs don't think that you will get time towards the end please side by side prepare for your 11th syllabus dedicate maybe 20 percent or 15 percent of the time for 11th but remaining 70 to 85 percent of the time please dedicate it for the current syllabus even in 12th standard if you have left few chapters you did not understand it no worries i will help you out with that with the midterm crash course which we have launched guys where we are cre uh, clearing all your doubts clearing all the chapters of your current you know uh, class whether you are class 11th or class 12th and by the way in vedantu when students are preparing for je or NEET, they end up doing very well in their respective board exams and that's the testimony that our students do well where we see 700 plus students who got 90 percent in our board examinations so we have the midterm crash course for all of you with all the chapters with complete preparation all the concepts problem practice teacher notes proper explanation right and this particular midterm crash course for 11th is and 12th is available for 1499 rupees the link for joining it is there in the description box you can see it has mathematics physics chemistry and some of you might have taken pcmb so you have bio sessions included as a part of this you have part test full syllabus test as well as your coaching module which will be provided as a soft copy all of this at a very affordable price i'll show you the link it is there right over here you can see as you are watching this particular video in the description box you will see in the midterm crash course link is there click on this and you will see this particular buy now option will be available log in create your free account and join the midterm crash course right so that is with regards to your midterm preparation if you need any help with that but i would like to know from you are you now from this point onwards going to just focus on ncrt and pyqs 
or are you going to go for ncrt pyqs and beyond because this is what is going to define your target in percentiles and ranks okay i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for liking and stay subscribed for more such videos thank you guys bye bye captain shreyas signing off hasta la vista